Hi there, I'm Edward Jern. Welcome back to Stay with Tsunana Kila. Today we'll continue to feature the wishy-washy teams by Japanese player Al Tomed. So this team basically focuses on wishy-washy and trick rooms. So by the time this team is uh, this video is uploaded, the Dallas Regional has finished, and congratulations to Andrew Lowax for winning the titles. So Lowax is indeed using a very Unique teams uh, developed by the Eduardo Conhar from uh, Portugal. He is using uh, an assault vest, uh, Tapu Coco's with a sky drops, uh, nature madness. Yeah, some some kind of things that I'm not sure about the details, but it's definitely a good team. Uh, right core to the matters right now. So let's go back to the battles here. We my opponent is using a card charm, uh, Tapu Lele, Celestia, Arcanite. Uh, Metagross and also the Gastrodon. So Gastrodon would be a problem to me. So I think his Tapu Lele might be a choice card variant. I'm not sure, but in this case, I would just bring my Tapu Coco first and a Rangaroo on the back and a Wishy Washy and Gastrodon duo. Should be doing well against the mirror. Yeah, I can poss probably bring my Gengars in, but we shall see because Coco can solve uh, the Arcanize, and yeah, I guess this team the team reports was written in Japanese, and Japanese players should be very familiarized with his teams. Yeah. I don't think so. So I guess I did, couldn't bring my Gengar easily. Alright, my opponent is bringing an Arcanite and Tapu Lele. So, Choice Scarf, Electric Surge comes in first. And Psychic Surge, and I do think that is a Choice Scarf variant, Tapu Lele. Alright. right. not sure if this Arcanine has Raw. If that's the case, I'll be in trouble. Alright, I guess I would bring the Arcanine up to the feet, uh, up to the skies and use the trick rooms here. So by combining trick rooms and sky drops you gain uh, one single turn uh, from my, uh, the opponent's side couldn't attack for two turns and you, your, one of the Pokemons, yeah, your, the Pokemons that are using the sky drops can avoid the attacks, two attacks. Yep. It's going to be that trick room coming out here. So Psychic goes on to Tapu Koko, it's not successful this moment. I may switch in this turn. So what would be a Tapu Lele versus Orangu situation? Very tough decision. Tough, very tough decisions. Because Tapu Koko comes in after after Tapu Lele attacks, so I just have to use an energy born to Tapu Lele. Yep, so I get coins to connect. Not doing a lot. And those scans on the skies finally comes back onto the field. So the question is, should I switch out my Tapu Koko? Uh, 
I guess I would switch out my Oranguru into Wishwashi first. So Sky Drop onto Lele? No, 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 wait. Anyway, I'll switch back to my Wishwashi. And try to use Psychics. Yeah, I'm going to use Energy Born to Tapu Lele. We shall see. So as long as Wishwashi is staying in schooling form, it can deal a lot of damage. So sidekick, random sidekick onto the Arcanite, not that side. Wish to do so. No citrus very at the face. We shall see why where oh but the snow is coming in first. So that's not a good sign for me. And psychic. And fortunately, no schooling. No schooling bricks. So basically, I can use two surf here. Let's see, a minus one could not tell the top lane here. So protect from the Arcanite. So the first serve, how much damage you can do. Oh, that should be a not out on the top of the So I could just continue to use Surf, but this is the already the third turn of the Trick Rooms. Still not going to do... Well, good situations to me. So Guard Trump's coming in. I guess single surf could not sound the Arcanite here. But should I preserve my Orangaroods on the back? Because switching in my Gastrodon would be a quite a nice choice here. Yeah, boosting boosted Gastrodon is still a very big threat to my opponents. So I guess I only need a single single boost here. But he was withdrawing his Arcanite. Back to his Gatchrodon, alright. That would be a mirror match. So protects from the Gatchrooms. So it would be a phase off again of two Gatchrodons. So. Oh, I need the energy ball. Mm -hmm. It seems like his Gatchrodon is faster than mine. Now with his Gastrodon, I don't know, but I think he might be using a Tectonic Rage onto my own Gastrodon, and that would be a sec secure lot out. And I don't want to boost his Gastrodon either, but what can I do? Then I could just serve and protect. Yeah, protect. Seems to viable. Finally, uh, longer games here. Yep, we do see the C moves here. Exactly as I anticipated. And it would be going on to my gastrodons. Well, that damage is minimal. What? Score? So 
So his cash was only has two special attack boosted, and my cash was only a single boosted. So we can still do a lot with that God Shums. So his optimal play is protecting his own Gastrodon. It does have a protect and use an earthquake. So I guess I will continue to serve and use an ice beam onto it. He might switching out. I'm not sure about it, but. Alright, protects from the guard charm, smart moves. So, an ice beam to do some damage onto Gastrodon. Wow, that's a lot. That's a critical hit. So, very tough situation is out. So. Three special attack boosted. So his safe up play is. Yeah, I need my gastrodon feel still needs it. But should I? Still Continue to boost his Gastrodon. Not sure because single, single hit from the Arangaru should be able to finish it off. But yeah, I, yeah, it's off like Earthquake. So Earthquake. Yep, finishing my Wishy Washy off. Ah, uh, but that's a recover. Not good. Definitely not good. So Tapu Koko has wild charge, two, s two s s flying type attacks, and what was the last one? Yeah, it's a U-turn. I guess I need my Oranguru. I don't know whether he would double onto my Oranguru or even which one is faster. I guess Oranguru is still faster this time. So oh, just energy board. And I really don't want to switch out, switch it out. If he use a dragon core, yeah, but it's earthquake anyway. That's yeah, kind of acceptable to me. So it's critical onto my already critted, being critted, uh, gastrodon. So energy ball comes in, hit things. So it would be a showdown of Garchomp, Arcanite, and uh, Top of Cocoa. Well, he might anticipate my Garchomp. Oh no, that was Sky Drop Valiant. Hmm. And Intimidate Hurts. It's not even the Brave Bird Orange. Of the top of Coco. Gosh, why would it be so difficult to deal with? So basically, I need to not out his guard shums without any doubt.
So I guess I would double onto the Garchomp's. Not much choice here, but the Garchomp protects. Alright. Yeah, quite a great game for my opponents. So it's now not doing much, but it definitely hurts my own groove. So I guess I need a crit. I crit onto the guard chums. Brave Bird crits on guard chums. It's kind of a mirror situation back on the uh, VGC's 14 to 15 because. Tandem Flame, Brave Bird, you need to hit the guard chums or else you would be knocked out. Uh, we shall see. It's not even boosted by stabbed. So it's an adamant. Oh, that's Meteor Alright. Enough quick should be able to finish all things on the field. Yeah, that will be it. Very good game for my opponent. And it stops my trick rooms perfectly. And yes, the Gastrodon's mirror kinds of hurt. And maybe the maybe the criticals on to my Gastrodon may matter, but yeah, I can still take that because this is the game and you need to face a lot of it. Anyway, that's the first game, and we shall jump into the second game soon. So, other than um, the usual team that we have seen in the Dallas Originals, uh, like most Fini teams that rise, come to rise in this time, uh, we see a very special team from Giovanni Costa. He's using a EV teams, the EV Omancy, or yeah, he kind of nicknamed as Believing. <laughs> Believing. Anyway, and you should really check out his uh, channels. He's doing a lot of great works, and his video is kind of. One of the most entertaining things in the VGC communities, and you should check it out. And his team is quite solid. With well, he's not using the usual uh, Tapu Lele or the yeah, not using the Tapu Lele or the Espion that was proposed by uh, uh, Wolf. And he's using the Tapu Finit and the Crocodile instead. And Crocodile's thanks to the power trip, it can damage a lot to opponents. So my opponent is coming from Japan here. We do see Duo Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu and Mimikyu with a... <laughs> wow, this is also the water type. Yeah, we see the 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 the, the, the well Lord and Pelipper, Tapu Coco, and also the the Katanas here. I guess I still want to stick towards my uh, Gengar and Orangu lead here, but the, some kind of problem is that with his with his uh, Pelipper has the access of wild, wild guard. That would definitely be a big problem to me. Anyway, let's go. I guess so. So I hope that the Destiny Born can not out the Katanas too. Because Rangu and Gengar do is quite special because they share the weaknesses of the dot types and definitely any single uh, any single dot types uh, most of the dot types move would could not out the Gengar easily. So making the Destiny Bond very useful. So we do see the Mimikyu and 
Pikachu, the duo Pikachu needs from our opponents. And on the other hand, I was bringing the Gengar and Orangu. So his Pikachu is more or less likely to use a fake out onto the Oranguru. But how about Mimikyu? Mimikyu would this Mimikyu use a uh, dark type? No, not, not many moves that he can use it indeed. So Pikachu may be a problem here. So I guess I want to Shadow Bond it. Yeah, I'll do so. Shadow Ball onto the Pikachu and use an Instruct. Oh, short. It will be the sidekicks, anyway. So, fake out onto a Rangaroo. We see the Shadow Core from my opponents. So, Shadow Ball knocks out the Pikachu. There's no need to use other moves. So, Sword Dance from our opponents. So I guess I can use the Z Destiny Balls here. Tapu Koko comes in. As I've mentioned in the last episode, usually Tapu Koko can't finish Gengars with a single hit. So Z Destiny Balls in Trick Rooms. But we do see Thunder. So that might be a problem then. No way. The cursed body is activated. If it's, it's a choice, bad note is it in my fault. Uh oh. Trinkle tackled. Sword dance boost. It might be able to finish off. La 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 Bush Oh oh So there's problems here Definitely big problems here So I definitely want to Break the disguise of Mimikyu so as to not sound the top of cold cold. Mimikyu can use a very uh could not find the solutions here. Yeah, I just use a surf and muddy waters. So that's an game from our opponents. So it would be the knock tower range. Yeah, play rough. It's going to connect. Finish in my guess we're off. Alright. Basically, it relies on whether the Mimikyu can connect with his play rough or the defense of the Wishiwashi is enough to take that attack. Yeah, but I guess I can protect the last turn. But the tunnels coming in, that's definitely a game for my opponents. Alright, try my best. Katana, lift blade, slashing, anything's off. And you can just name Katana as what? Well. Yeah. Yeah, someone someone in Singapore, uh, Chelsea Tan, a very talented uh, female player in Singapore, name is as uh, Foot Ninja. Alright, that's the end of this episode, and we shall continue to feature this team tomorrow, and see you soon. Bye.